Well, the Book of Mormon is the keystone of our religion. It, it includes everything, and we're so blessed to have it. When someone gave me this list of the 30 conditions one would have to meet to make a book comparable to the Book of Mormon, I thought, someday I'm going to do something with that. So it wasn't until my children were grown and we were on a sabbatical leave in New Zealand. The first time I ever remember of writing anything about the challenges, I had no computer or anything down there with me, just a typewriter. And I started writing on one of the challenges. Everybody asked me, well, how did you get so much information for your book? And I said, I looked. And I looked for years because there was 30 challenges. I had to, it was 30 different subjects. And I used little post-it notes. Everywhere I went, I had a pad of those in my pocket or my purse. So if I'd run on something or hear something, I would jot that down to remember, and then I would put it in one of my 30 folders. So I eventually started writing and, edit and editing. Well, not editing as much as just writing and collecting and collecting everywhere I went, and every Sunday school class or talk, I had a post-it note with me. If I heard a, a scripture or something I liked, I would write that down, and it would go in that one of the 30 folders that I had for different files. The book has so many wonderful things in it that we're so blessed to have it. You know, man is that he might have joy, and I don't know if anyone that's can have more joy than to have that book and all the beautiful teachings that are, are in that book. The fact that a young boy would be given such a responsibility to find these plates and then to write what was on them, to translate them, that, that was definitely a miracle. That is so hard for some people to believe. But it's not hard for me to believe these days, especially when you see cell phones and you can just push something and get another language on it. It would be no problem for the Lord at all to have the translation for the Book of Mormon for Joseph Smith. And I appreciate him so much for all he went through to bring that book to us. I've always believed the Book of Mormon. It's hard to say that there's any time that that I just suddenly realized it's true because I just always thought it was true. There was I had no doubt about it. And it's hard for me to understand people, well, I guess non-members, but for members of the church to have a doubt about the truthfulness of it. Over the years, there's so many things have come out to prove that there's no way Joseph Smith could have known the things that are in that book. There's no way he could have known Hebrewisms, all the ones that are in the book. How would he know chiasmus? There's no way. So it's just a book keeps proving itself.